order of operations. Order of operations is a set of rules that dictates the order in which we must perform each operation in an expression so that we will evaluate it accurately. The order of operations does just that. It brings order into solving or evaluating an expression. Without the order of operations, everyone who solved an expression like this or evaluated an expression like this would get a different answer. And so there would be chaos. And we can't have that in math. So we have the order of operations to tell us what order to do things in. The most common mnemonic device used to remember this order is PEMDAS or please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. And it's in order of the operations that should be done from first to last. So P is the parentheses, which means parentheses are always done first. After we're done with parentheses, we then move on to exponents. E is for exponents. So if there are any exponents in your expression that you're evaluating, you'll do those or simplify those after you've simplified everything in the parentheses. Our last two sets are special. M and D is multiplication slash division. The reason they're on the same line together is that you don't do one before the other. It's not like you always multiply before you divide. What it really is, is you multiply and divide in order from left to right in your expression. So looking at your expression, we would divide first before we would multiply because when reading from left to right, the division shows up first. And it's the same thing with AS, which stands for addition, subtraction. You won't always add before you subtract. You'll again work those from left to right. But you will always multiply and divide before you add and subtract. So addition and subtraction should be the last things you do. Now, if, there, if you have addition subtraction inside your parentheses, then of course you'll do that first because everything in parentheses gets simplified first. Let's apply these rules to this example. We always start with parentheses. Looking at our expression, we've got some parentheses here around 2 plus 3. So we have to start by adding 2 plus 3. So that means nothing else in our expression is going to change. 5 plus 20 divided by 4 times 2 plus 3 is 5 squared minus 6. Now we go back to our order of operations to see what we need to do next. We've done our parentheses, so now we need to look and see if we have any exponents we can simplify. And we do right here. 5 squared. So that's the next operation we need to do. So bring down the 5 plus 20 divided by 4 times 5 squared is 25 minus 6. And we go back to our order of operations. We've done all of our exponents. So now we're moving on to multiplication and division. Again, from left to right. So we start on the left and work our way right looking for multiplication and division and we find it. Which means we need to divide first not multiply. So we have 5 plus 20 divided by 4 is 5 times 25 minus 6.
So we've done our division. So now we're going to look for more division and multiplication from left to right. And we see that we have multiplication. So that's the next thing we need to do. So we bring down our 5 plus 5 times 25 is 125 minus 6. We're done with all multiplication and division, so we'll consult PEMDAS again. We're done with that. Moving on to addition, subtraction. And again, we work these from left to right. We won't always add before we subtract. We'll just do it in order from left to right. So from left to right, we see addition first. 5 plus 125 is 130 minus 6. And then we do the only thing left to do, subtract. 130 minus 6 is 124. And finally, we've evaluate our, evaluated our expression using the order of operations, or PEMDAS. If you need a study guide, click the book at the bottom of the page. If you want more free test videos, subscribe to us on YouTube. If you just want to keep watching, click the next video.